Hey, good morning, Southern Latitudes family and friends. Hey, mom and dad and the crew. Um, I hear thunder. Th oh, you hear that? That's thunder this morning. That's thunder this morning. And I was supposed to harvest these onions days ago. A week ago? Oh, shoot, that was lightning. Well, we might not be harvesting onions. Okay, let's do this later. Oh, let me show you real quick, and then I gotta go in because it was lightning. I missed my window. Anyhow, here is my onions, and they need to come up out of the ground. They're not getting any bigger. Okay, end of video. Bye! Whew, okay. It is getting darker and darker over there. Oh, and lightning was overhead already. But this is what I did before I grabbed the camera. I got the first half of the row in and got them under here to dry. Now it's still going to probably rain in from the side or something, but at least I don't want them to rot. See, this is what was happening is they're completely done and I knew they were done. Not all of them. There's still a couple, but for the most part, they were done. They were done. Uh, I was hoping to get something bigger than that, but you know, when the top's like that, it just kind of dictates, hey, we're done. So, you know, this is my first year with Texas Legends. I thought I did a pretty good job. Everything seemed to be on schedule. But perhaps, perhaps I have a lot of room for improvement. Anyhow, and uh, we did steal some of the other biggest ones uh, to eat the, this past couple weeks, really. And I put them in my canning. Um, but anyhow, and there's a lot more good ones out there. But that'll have to wait. Time to go in. Okie dokie, so it looks like we had two and a half inches of rain. That's crazy. Oh well, Here. empty all that out. Um, and it is now, what is it? It's like after five. We had some crazy rain all day. Pretty steady. And thunder and lightning. Look at all my blooms on the ground. Oh my, and there goes all my basil. My Persian basil's gone. I did see a slug there, and I put some DE on it, but I knew it wouldn't last with all this rain. Oh, banana garden's doing good. Everything looks good that we transplanted at the end of last week. So, it's kind of weird. I don't expect that onions are going to be waterlogged, but I'm going to pull them anyhow because... We may, may get dry tomorrow, but then we're supposed to get more rain. And these are just really ugh, soft at the top. So I'm just going to pull a bunch, let them dry. Yeah, that one's really dead at the end. Probably should have pulled that a while ago. So it was... A learning curve of a year. I learned a lot with my onions. Um, this is the first year I've ever had actual bulbs. <laughs> so that tells you where my starting point was. Oh, look at that one. It's totally, can you see that? Let's see. It's totally split. Not sure the camera's picking that up too well. So we did right on the vegetative state. Um, maybe I could have gotten them in the ground a little sooner. That would have helped with the extra vegetation before the bulbing. Because um, I certainly think I could have... I was doing great on vegetative. But these bulbs on some of these right here are a little bit small. A lot of bit small. <laughs> but I'm not going to complain. The pantry is well stocked and I uh, learned quite a bit. Oh, look at this one. It's really good size. That's pretty good. It's 
hard to be disappointed when you got more food than you got metabolism to eat it all. God is good. All the time. Okay, so that... Oh, oh I missed some earlier, didn't I? Oh, I might have been leaving some. Might have tried to leave a couple small ones. This one, I won't pull it. I think I was thinking that I leave this one, but um, I'm going to pull it. I just would hate to lose these to rot after working months and months and months to get anything to, to the bulbing stage. Oh, yeah. I did leave some of that back here, too, didn't I? Now, the red ones, I'm still in that point where, boy, the foliage is amazing. But, um, they're not, oh, I have a lot of weeds in here. They're just starting to bulb. You see that? They're just starting to bulb. So, oh, here's a good one. This one did bulb. I'll pull that one. I guess I'll have a good look at them tomorrow morning. See if I need to pull the red ones too. I mean, certainly they could be bigger. Um, but everything else looks pretty good. Let's see. Let's pull these. A couple. This one didn't bulb hardly at all. I'll leave that one. Same with that one. Yeah, let's just go ahead and pull these. I do see splitting happening. I guess that's what happens when you have a month of no rain and then you get a couple days of these three inch rain nights. I got a bunch of those. I'll probably just pull you two. Oh, I don't know. He's still really wanting to bulb. You see that? Still real strong with his green. I'll, I'll leave that one. Look at this red one. This one looks good, too. I'll pull that one. Certainly could be bigger. But overall, overall, very, very happy. My little basket's full, y'all. I better stop where I'm at for that. Let's check that garlic. Ooh, it's really sinking down. There. I also had some Florida sweets. I wonder. They don't even appear to be dying back yet. Oh, that's a thick onion at the base here. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that. That's just thickening up. I don't know if y'all can see that. I really need to take care of these weeds. but That's a Florida sweet, and it's still really strong in the greens. That one's made for heat. So perhaps we will leave the Florida sweet onions. Look at my little gladioluses are partially up. They almost look like they need to be staked, don't they? It's crazy. And I have a pepper up here. Don't ask me how that happened. I have no idea. Let's check this garlic. Well. It doesn't look like it's big enough yet. How about you? How about you guys? They're really thick out here in the stock part. Hmm. I think I'll just leave those. So, and I'll leave most of those reds at least for a couple days. The greens are a little bit bigger, healthier on those. What's going on here? This is also Florida sweet. Yep, not there yet. So, okay. Note to self, Texas Legends finished first. Time to get them out. Oh, goodness, that's going to be a big red one. Do you see the stalk on that? Well, let's leave it in. The greens are looking good. 
we'll give them another week or so to, to but we'll just keep coming out in here and evaluating it see oh look I got some more um sweet peas sugar snap peas sweet peas yeah these were my second batch uh oh I one not like the others I had that happen a couple of times okay let's get these laid out I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek look at that one two three four five six heads of broccoli well there might even be more at least there, there's at least six that one's coming too seven Ooh, did I not look good? Yeah. Seven heads of broccoli coming. There you go, guys. There's the second batch. Got a couple reds in there. And, you know, they're wet and they're mucky, icky, really bad. Some are split. But we got them good, the good, bad, and the ugly. <laughs> and uh, the other side of the garden that had a little bit more sun to it had a lot more beautiful big ones so I'm I'm very happy with that I think if we had had more full sun we could have probably really grown some big big Texas legends so that's n something to know and to uh, change next year what do you think buddy that's a good one on the end right there yeah so oh <laughs> let me show you what I'm ewing I got a slug on me at least it's not a leech. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, see, here's another one of those weird ones. Splitting out of its skin. I'm sure that, that must be a water issue, even though I'm still new to onions. I'm sure that's water. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to end the video this way. And we'll have um, another fun day tomorrow. Take care. God bless. And I will see you guys again soon.